is by coming back here, you realize that me, the me you're worried about, first of all, it doesn't exist. It's just a thought. It's simply a thought because there is no me, there is no you separated from life. It is life operating through all of us. And also you realize that you're perfectly taken care of. But that's not just words. Words don't do it. Because we all have heard the words. It's not the word. You have to feel the love when you come back to this moment. You come back to yourself or you're with your teacher or you're in a group of meditation or you're in a workshop or you're in, with a group of people who are on the same path and you're all having one intention. So you come back like here, we come to the unified field we connect, we plug into the unified field of oneness. You know, you, you plug into it. And by plugging into it, you come back again. Come back here and come back to the juice. And then you realize, huh, okay. Yes, I feel it. I feel the love. I feel the presence. I can... Feel the presence hovering around me. It's touching me. It's dancing around me. It's kissing me. And I'm good. I'm okay. The love is here. And the love that we experience is not, doesn't belong to anyone. It's always present and it's here. And it cannot be taking, taken away from you. It's your own love. It doesn't come from someone outside of yourself. So if that person is gone, you won't lose it. It's coming from within yourself all the time. Well, you have to stop, you gotta stop the madness, pause like what we're doing today, and we come back together. We've taken like an hour, an hour and a half time from our busy day, and we stopped, and we come back here, and the mind becomes quiet. You come in this very moment, and then the presence shows itself, and love comes back and you feel it again. You, you come in touch with it again. But it requires a pause from the madness. It requires a pause from the world of thoughts, the maya, the world. So in a way, you can consider yourself as some pioneers, this generation of spirituality is sort of a pioneers entering into this level of consciousness of being present in this moment. Eventually in the future, maybe 50 years, 30 years, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, on, it would be more masses of humanity that are present, they will be in this moment. But for now, there's a small percentage that's popping out and coming to this understanding. And in this coming to this understanding is disconnecting from the news, disconnecting from the world. Not being ignorant to it, but not buying it as reality. Not buying that story of 
the mind, worry, 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 what's gonna happen, not buying it, coming back here, like what we're doing right now. Trusting this moment, trusting life, trusting this moment, that this moment, life will take care of us and not go into the world of the mind of worry, anxiety, which again, is coming from our past and being projected to the future and has nothing to do with this moment. All it does is makes you get old, grow old and better and takes you out of the nectar of life takes you out of the juice of this moment. Because this moment is where the kingdom of heaven is, in this moment. It's not a place. Kingdom of heaven is not like a place you're going to die and go to. It's here right now. They're all here. These, all these dimensions that they've been expressed by different masters or enlightened beings, whether it's Jesus or Buddha or Krishna or whomever, all of these places that they talk about, they're levels of consciousness. They're not a geographical place and they're not designed for after death. Because if it's going to be after death, that has no value to you and I because I don't really give a shit about after death. I'm just concerned with right now. I'm not gonna postpone right now for after death. If there is anything of value, I want it right now. If it's real, it must be right now. If it's not right now, then it's, it's illusion. It's a story, it's a fairy tale. And I want to wait till I die. I want it right now, in this moment. Otherwise, it's not real. Because even then, when I die, is right now. Because there is no future moments. It's always right now. Whatever moment comes, again, it's right now. So there is nothing outside of right now. So you learn to stay here and you decide to unclutch and break this chain of a lifetime or lifetimes of humanity of hundreds, thousands of years of even previous generations that's been passed on to us of this time thing and this mind thing that there is something outside of right now, we are going to break that. We're breaking it. Because we don't want to be slaves. We want to free ourselves and to live in this moment and to be one with God right now, to be in the fullest level of our highest potential of complete freedom and love, experiencing the love of self, the love of being right now in this moment, not another time. 